everyone. Welcome to the Sunday School lesson. In a moment, Marion will bring us this week's lesson. But before she does, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for looking after us. We thank you for taking care of us this week. We know that some people have had some sad things to deal with, and we pray that you'll help them. As we get ready for Sunday School lesson, please help us to understand what you want to teach us. Help us to understand why it matters. And Lord, help us to get closer to you. Thank you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. I hope you've had a lovely week. It's been very cold this week, but the sun has been shining. And also, I saw some beautiful snowflakes this week. All right, well, today we are reading Matthew 4, verse 1 to 11, where Jesus was being tested in the wilderness. Then Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan River. He was led by the Spirit in the wilderness. In chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, it tells you after John the Baptist had baptised Jesus, he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on Jesus. And a voice said, This is my beloved Son, and I am fully pleased with him. He was in the wilderness for 40 days and was tempted by the devil. But Jesus was praying to God while he was in the wilderness. God was preparing him for the work he was going to do later. Jesus ate nothing all that time and became very hungry. You just think how you would feel if you hadn't eaten anything for a few days. I'm sure you would be so hungry and thirsty for food and water, but Jesus was being fed on God's word. Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become a loaf of bread. The devil was hoping that Jesus would be so hungry that he would do what he said. The devil said, If you are the Son of God, but he already knew who he was. But the devil was hoping Jesus would be so hungry that he would do what he said anyway. Jesus replied by quoting from the Holy Scripture and a verse found in Deuteronomy 8 verse 3. It is written, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down. This was the second temptation from Satan. Then the devil twisted a scripture in Psalm 91 to tempt Jesus. Doesn't it promise in the Bible? For he will tell his angels to care for you and keep you in all your ways. They will hold you up in, your, in their hands so your foot will not hit against a stone. You can see that the devil knew the scripture because he was quoting, but also twisting, twisting them. So instead of obeying God's word, he was hoping Jesus would disobey, but he didn't. Jesus answered him by quoting from Deuteronomy 6 verse 16. It is also written, do not test the Lord your God. The devil took Jesus to a very high mountain. This is the third temptation from Satan. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their splendour. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Away from me, Satan, was Jesus' instant reply. Then he quoted from Deuteronomy 6 verse 13. For it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. We can see Jesus wasn't tempted by any of the devil's schemes. He could see through the deception of the devil. 
Then the devil left Jesus, waiting for another more opportune time to test him again. Angels came and attended to Jesus. Jesus then returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy Spirit. Then he began his ministry. Lent is for 40 days leading up to Easter. Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days. That is why we do Lent, to prepare ourselves for Easter like God was preparing Jesus in the wilderness for the work he was going to do. Some people give something up that they enjoy, food or some activity they enjoy. Maybe because you are younger, you could give some activity, activity up for a couple of hours a day or help to do something around the home. You could make a card for a neighbour or a family relative now that you don't see them through lockdown. To have a card off you would make their day, especially if they're not seeing family and feeling lonely. It would be nice for them to know that someone cares. So you see what so see what you can do for Lind, which is starting on Wednesday. But most of all spend time each day reading your Bible and praying to the Lord so that you can get closer to him. Right, hope you all have a good week and we will be praying for you the next 40 days. Bye.